Of course, there was a lot of pressure in the morning. I was I was quite nervous, but uh, after the first few holes, I opened up and then and I made a few birdies and then it was then it kept rolling from there. I think maybe the 17th hole was an important putt that I made. I think maybe the 17th and maybe the 9th where I hit it around the foot. So I think that those were two good moments. I was more nervous uh, for him than myself, um, but um, I'm very proud of what he's played today. He shot one under par and um, just want him to keep it going. Um, and, uh, you know, he's on the right track. He works quite hard. And um, I've always told him, let the clubs talk. And I think they'll keep you going in the right direction. My grandparents and my dad, they all, they've all they been playing golf since I was very small. So I picked it up as I was very young and then I've been going with it since. I admire Scotty Scheffler because he's one of the best players in the world right now. So, of course. I think he'd be the best fit. Most important thing in this game is the desire uh, and the hard work. And I think he's picked that up. He works very hard at the game. And also, um, what I like about his game is that um, he he's learned how to shape the ball. You know, especially when you hit it offline, he's learned the shots, low hooks, low slices, bump and runs. And his short game is very strong. So I like that. And I think when you have that in your game, you can last out as a as a professional golfer and as a good golfer for a long time.